Let's see the biggest diamond then. Yeah, so this is a, a three carat round GIA DVS1, 40,000 for that. A two carat oval uh, yep. lab. And then a 2.5 carat per, again, lab. And these are a few thousand each. What's the best price on these three stones? <laughs> I, know, I know people. If you took all three, maybe 45. 45. Uh, you would... Okay. Um, actually, aren't as crazy, isn't it? The way all the light refracts in each one. What size were these? Uh, I can tell you the oval. The oval is 1.5 carat. Cool. And the per is... Uh, two carats for that. So you have one, you have 45 yeah. for it. All DVS one. Cool. Um, all with certificates in the chair. All, uh, all of these are IGI. 35? 34. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, but not that much. See, we've got to haggle. These guys know me from the day. We've got to haggle as part of us. Hit, hit me with a rough, like, bottom line. I know you said you're at 45, but obviously there's always movement. Why don't we meet in the middle of 40? 37. 40. <laughs> um, what do you guys think, hey? Do you guys think diamonds are going to be a good investment in the future? Do we think they're going to be perfect to get now? I, lo I do love buying into diamonds. The only problem is sometimes I find it a little bit hard to liquidate them. You, know, you have to find the value for them. It's not like gold. But it's just bottom line price. It's there. Worst thing first, if you catch them, it's done. This is the problem. I mean, there's not a lot of women that have actually got a three carat ring. Yeah. So that's, <laughs> you can see the size of yeah, it. It's yeah, very yeah. significant, you know? Um, but stunning. What's the like, craziest thing you've, whilst you've been here and the business is here, what's the craziest thing you guys have seen come in? Um, we had a 1.25 carat red diamond. Oh, okay. uh, okay. Very yeah. high clarity. So red diamond is at the time was about a million dollars a carat. Yeah. So it was about a million pounds for 1.25 carat. That's crazy. So I know pink ones are the most expensive, aren't they? Pink, red, both. Yeah, yeah. They're, all, they're all kind of up there. Greens and blues can be equally expensive. I know the saying for that is just like, you'll dig up a normal mountain, you'll, you'll find a good few of these. You dig up a normal mountain, you're lucky to find one red diamond. Correct. Like yeah, to your point, I you reckon if you take this, the, a mountain the size of like a sw like a, a skiing mountain in the Alps, your standard mountain, from that you would get maybe um, two to 3,000 diamonds yeah. throughout the life of the mine. 80% of that would be non-commercial, so the stuff that you use for like drill bits um, and, and non-jewelry. 20% yeah. is the stuff that you could actually use for jewelry of, of that 20%. 98% of that 20 is is kind of white. Yeah. And then you so you might get, you know, 1,000, 2,000 whites at different qualities. You're very lucky if you get 10 greens or 10 blues, you get one pink, one red at the most. Yeah, so, if you're lucky. If, if you're lucky. Right. What are these days? So these are two princess cut diamonds, both approximately one and a half carat EVS1 quality. So very nice, much nicer than I would say your average engagement ring and much bigger. This one here is a natural stone and this one is a lab grown. Cool, okay. And what's the price difference of these? So the natural is roughly eight to eight and a half thousand pounds in today's market. And then the lab is about a thousand, twelve hundred at the moment. So it's you know, eight times more expensive for that natural stone. So what, eight and a half and one to two grand from like near 10 grand? For yeah, for two, for two stuff. The question is, what are you going to take for it? What are you going <laughs> to be taking for these? I love the natural, but it's crazy the difference, isn't it? Like people at home, you don't see the difference between natural and lab. But we've got a um, eight and a half grand stone and a one and a half to two grand stone, both pretty much looking the exact same, you know. Unless you're a jeweler with a really, really trained eye or with a machine, you're not going to tell the difference. You're not going to know. As you can see, if you hold a this this much smaller oval next to the uh, the natural uh, round, you can see that in terms of you know price difference. Where are your prices at then? If if that's what you're mentioning, what can Maybe you an offer? So what? We're at ten grand at the moment. Seven. I can't. I can't drop thirty percent on diamonds. Yeah, Unfortunately, it's just it, not it, a big margin. I would start low. I, I like that. Start low. I like that. Um, I need both of them. I'll, I'll do nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. And what you want to go risky again for another coin? I've got to win one today. Yeah, I've got to do something. <laughs> um, nine ten grand coin. Normal nine, price or nine grand? Nine eleven. Nine eleven. Are you going to introduce the risk? <laughs> um, I'll do eight ten five or. 9 10. Considering you just won the two grand. I'll do the 8 10 5. Yeah. 8 10 5? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, shit. Okay, I thought you wasn't going to pick that one. Go right, let's, let's 10, 10 p again. Right. You can flip this time, maybe you'll have some more luck. Right. Tails or heads? Heads again. Shit, okay. Right. 10 and a half, 8 grand coin flip. I can't lose two in a row, surely. Like, I'm spending the whole budget up here to some stones now. Alright, cool. Alright, you're cool. Well, that's some. I recoup some losses back for you guys. 